Hey, do you feel embarrassed or in shame when it comes to your hair? Do you feel like your hair is always too oily, too frizzy, or just not behaving properly, or no matter what you do? If so, you're not alone. And I want to help you because I've been there. I want to help you build more confidence in your natural hair, in your natural self, and show you how to build a good regimen for your hair that you can use every week to take care of your hair the proper manner. I'll go over a few mistakes that I've made and some product that you can use and product that you cannot use and some ingredient that you have to look for so you don't make the same mistake or you don't keep doing the same mistake. If you're interested in how to do this, keep on watching. So, one of the first thing you would like to do before you start is doing a pre-poo. Pre-poo is good for your hair because it prepares your hair for shampooing and it helps your hair detangle better and break less. So one of the way you can do that is by doing an onion juice treatment or an aloe vera air mask, overnight air mask. Or you can do an oil treatment. At oil treatment, some people they do it before shampooing or after shampooing but you can do it before shampooing too these are steps that you can do to prepare your hair for detangling while you in the shower washing your hair so the second thing you can do is shampooing your hair shampooing your hair is really important because it cleans your hair and if you don't clean your hair enough or too much it can be a problem if you do it too much you can strip your hair from its natural oil, which is not good. And if you do, don't do it enough, your hair will not grow because it ha will have product buildup. And when you have product buildup in your scalp, your hair doesn't flourish because it's blocked. Your scalp is black and your hair can't grow. So it's important to wash your hair at least once a week or do it no more than twice a week. Don't do it too much, it's not good for your hair. Some sulfate and silicone, they're not good for your hair. The sulfate, they are detergent and they strip your hair from its natural oil. They're not good, they're very harsh on your hair so you have to watch out for this product. The silicones, they block your hair from taking moisture from the hair. So when you put something that has silicone, it stays on top of your hair and your hair can attract any moisture from the air and any moisture that you're adding to it because it's black okay your cuticle of black so next thing you want to do is condition your hair conditioning your hair is important too because it, it brings back moisture into your hair after you use the shampoo you should the shampoo cleans your hair and takes off all the residues, all the debris from your hair, so you it's time to bring back some moisture into your hair. And the conditioner is a good one to do that. And one of the things you wanna do when you're looking for a good conditioner is plant-based conditioner. And they have to be listed in the first ingredient after you see water. So when you feel like you need to clean your hair and you shampoo your hair too many times during the week already, you just co-wash your hair. Co-washing your hair is doing hot water and conditioner. Next thing you want to do after you do hot oil treatment or pre-poo and then you do shampoo and you do conditioner, you can do a deep conditioner once a week. Once a week is good because it makes your hair grow faster, longer, stronger and better. And the next step, the last step of your process is doing the LOC method or LDS, LCO method. The LOC method, L stands for liquid leave-in conditioner, O st stands for oil, and C stands for cream or butter. I mean, it looks like B if it's butter, but it's just cream, okay? So you can do LCO method to just prepare your hair from st for styling. I like to just use olive oil or castor oil or just crazy oil. I list some of the best that I like to use and what they do for your hair and according to what your hair needs 
you can just use it.